Okay, Rob, I want, Rob, if you could talk Come to us. Yeah, what is going on here, and where are we? Right, we are uh, just outside Lila Davis Elementary School, where we were called um, just a little before noon. The school received a uh, telephoned in bomb threat, so our officers have been on scene since then. Um, the school decided to evacuate students to a nearby church here for their safekeeping, and right now we have two canine officers as well as the Pinellas Sheriff's Office and campus police making a sweep of the school. Can you talk to us more about this threat? It was a call that came in, and obviously you're taking it seriously, very right. seriously. I don't know the details of the threat. I just know there was a bomb threat that was called into the school just a few minutes before noon. I don't know any of the specific details or what the person said, but, you know, you treat every call as if it's a legitimate no matter what and then you check it out and you make sure that all was well so you just basically need to um, err on the side of caution anytime you have something like this and you evacuate the students and make sure that they're taken care of Rob I know this is a you know the school's choice to evacuate the school Correct. but we actually talked to a parent that started to cry because she was so upset you know with the climate that we live in today do you think in a situation like this it is the right decision for kids you know not to be I don't think here. that's for me to like to me for me to decide or whatever but you know I mean anytime you can err on the side of caution and do what would be the right thing for kids and for parents and to make them feel at ease and evacuate them to another location that's probably the best thing. Is it a credible enough threat to evacuate I guess would be a question? I don't think police? you even I don't think you ever know when something comes in is it credible is it not credible you can't judge that in the first couple of minutes as something I think every threat that comes in you would have to consider credible because there's never a situation where you would want to say ah that's not credible and then find out otherwise it is now talk to us a little bit more if you don't mind about the actual search for the alleged bombs in there if there are indeed any explosives in that school right we have two of our canine officers um, and their their four-legged partners are searching the school going classroom by classroom hallway by hallway along with help from the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office and with campus police so they will do a very uh, intense search over every inch of that school to make sure there is nothing suspicious inside can you give me uh, just a little bit of an overview of the uh, call as it came in, like you received a phone call or uh, right. how that went, and then about the dispatch, you know, typically what happened with your dispatch, and then if you have the numbers on how many students, that would be good as well. Yeah, um, I know the call, our call, into Clearwater Police came in about 10 minutes till noon, so that would have been just after the call came into the school. The, um, the call about the bomb threat came into the school, not to us. So then the school calls us and we responded with a, uh, a large assortment of uh, officers out here because we knew we needed to cordon off the area, we knew we needed to get traffic control in, as well as take care of the children who have already been moved because in this day and age of social media, as soon as a parent hears about something like this, they're climbing in their car to come and pick up their student. So our role mainly is to make that a very smooth process by directing traffic, by helping parents get in and get back out, as well as searching the school. Do you know how many students? I do not, but I can get the answer. And I will also tell you that Lisa Wolf is the appropriate contact for the school district. And she would be able to get you those numbers, but I will also walk over to the principal shortly and ask for that. And Rob, you know, I, I think I told you we're doing a Facebook Correct. live situation right here. Is there anything that you would tell parents or to reassure the public, you know, before we close? I would just want them to know that we hopefully have the situation well in hand. Our officers are out here. We're inside the school. We're going to make sure that the school is fine before any children are ever allowed to go back in. And I think we've seen a, a flow of parents coming here to pick up children, and that's perfectly okay. If that's what you want to happen with your child, then we will make sure you can get in. You can have access to your, uh, to your child at the church behind us. Okay, Rob Shaw with the Clearwater Police Department. Thank you so much for your time you. and the job that you do. Thank